my channel what's good <laughs> make sure you stay hydrated as usual you know my you got the tea i promised you guys i was gonna go live i was planning on doing it later tonight i might do later tonight as well but um just keep up with the um community tab to see what's up okay welcome everybody Thank you for joining me today. Thank you for your like, share, and subscriptions, your love and support. I have my donation notebook here. Okay, anybody who donates to my channel and loves to give back to reciprocate energy, I always write down your name. I tell my ancestors about you. I pray about you because you're the best. All right, you're the bomb. And you know, Maji got the tea. Look at this. We got the tea cup on the bottom. So I'm, I'm about to spill the beans, but apparently it's the bees. I'm about to spill the bees. Some of you guys might might have like, maybe you're attending a spelling bee or your child is attending a spelling bee. Something about a spelling bee. Maybe something happened to you when you were a child and like a spelling bee or you're very good at spelling, writing. That just came through. That was random. Okay. So today's reading is, okay, you cried so many times. In private that God is about to bless you in public okay thank you so much Vanessa for your donation many blessings to you if you guys would like to donate to my PayPal cash app all that information is below okay so let's get into this reading you cried so many times now you're about to see why all those tears were shed okay so many things were done in private in your life. You talking to God, you conversating with God, and now you're about to be blessed in public, okay? I'm hearing like you went ghost on people. You just were not talking to people, okay? Don't forget to like this video, share, and subscribe to show some love and support. You guys already know Magic like to get them likes up. <laughs> Let's get them likes up if the message resonates, of course. All right, ancestors, spirit guys of the highest white light, please come through. Period. So let's see what's up. All right, let's see what's up. We have not your father here, okay? So there's something that you've endured is what I'm getting here, okay? You've endured something. And this is why you're being rewarded, we have identity. Somebody here might have like, okay, identity. Something about your identity. Maybe somebody tried to take your identity. I'm hearing identity theft or replicate your identity. Or maybe you went through a phase in your life where you really didn't know who you were and you were trying to identify who you were through everything that you were enduring. Something about being grounded, an earth sign, um, family. Let's just see what's going on. Something about not your father in the family, okay? Let's just see. Um, yeah, jealous of your mom. Okay, I'm like all over the place right now. Let me get organized, spirit. spirit. I got some downloads to say before I start using Oracle decks. So I was hearing the song in my head, Soul Survivor, right? I'm a soul survivor. So, like I said, you're a survivor here. You've gone through so much. And it's like, God is proud of you, period. Like, God is proud of you because you are a soul survivor. Your soul has survived many lifetimes, many spiritual attacks. Um, you've endured a lot, okay? We have something else coming through saying protect your energy, okay? There's a need for you to protect your energy. You could protect your energy by acquiring some type of crystal, okay? I like to use black tourmaline um, or any black crystal. You can also protect your energy by cleansing Palo Santo sage, um, Florida water, um, prayer, okay? Prayer is a very important way to protect your energy as well it just all depends on your religion your beliefs and everything like that okay welcome in everybody thank you for joining me maji gang all right so then we have playing with matches so either somebody's playing with fire or you could be a fire sign um but we have playing with matches somebody's playing with matches playing with fire something like that okay that's what i really got here 
I also am hearing lips of an angel. Okay. Honey, why are you calling me tonight? It's hard to really talk right now. Okay. Yeah, I'm hearing you're here to do something with humanity. You have a big mission here in humanity. What up, boogeyman? <laughs> Thanks for joining this live. All right, let's see. Ancestor spirit guys of the highest white light. Tell me about this message here. Um, how God is about to bless the collective in public after crying in private. Whoa. Okay, every like every card on my desk is like flying out by themselves and this never happens to me okay we have the devil as i'm shuffling a complete different deck my tarot slides down the devil you can't make this shit up you get what i mean look at this the devil capricorn energy coming through like i said there's some type of limitation toxicity saturn energy here soul tie i'm hearing soul tie binding spells what is this? Like, this devil just flipped out. Like, literally. Like I said, it's like you have been surrounded by devils, demons, negative energy, manipulation, illusions. Okay? Restraint. That was crazy how that just popped out when I'm shuffling this deck. Like, let's get it. So, no weapon form against you shall prosper. You hear me? No weapon form against you shall prosper. I just bought this for my channel and i feel like i should have this shit with me all the time listen mm, mm, mm. no weapon form against you shall prosper look at that i have that sort of truth i have that sort of king author all right period thank you deborah for your donation my love many blessings so let's get into this reading because i'm feeling like it's all over the place something about temptation somebody might have be might be tempting you okay be careful around temptations is what i'm also getting ancestor spirit guys tell me about this message okay so we have the todd coming through there's something yeah i'm telling you the todd the toad think of the todd the toad jesus christ speaks about um purging okay cleansing releasing what no longer serves you so this is what you're going through right now or this is what you did we have the tree okay thank you james for your donation my love many blessings we have the toad the tree yeah it's like you were cleansing okay you were healing ancestral karma here hey ever tarot thank you for becoming a magician my love welcome to the team magic gang Okay, so yeah, I'm hearing you broke some type of like generational curse here or you're purging, you're, you're cleansing your energy from um, your root chakra. Okay, things that maybe have happened in your childhood while you were growing up. This could also be like some of you guys here, I'm getting like you're cleansing your energy, you're removing yourself from toxic family members. Okay, we have the moon, cancer energy. So a lot has been hidden from you. There's a lot that has been hidden from you. Someone's name here could be Alejandra or Alexandra. Okay. You can donate through my PayPal, Cash App, Venmo. The information's in my bio. Okay. Or you could send a sticker, a YouTube sticker. Yeah, ghost and cauldron. Whoa. Something powerful is here, bro. My whole candle just shot off and my whole deck just fell. After I said cauldron. So this is not a joke. Okay, hold on. This is going to be not a joke of a reading. Okay, not that any reading I do is a joke. But I'm getting like, wow, there's some powerful forces here that do not want me to deliver this message. Type shit. So hold on. I have to relight my candle. It just literally turned off as soon as I said cauldron. And remember I told you lighting matches? Somebody lighting matches? See? Somebody's practicing magic here on you. For some of you guys, it's a beauty spell. It's on your hair because we got braid here. Something about your hair. Somebody might have taken a piece of your hair on your identity. Yeah, somebody's doing spells on your identity, my love. Okay? I, this is not going to resonate with everybody this part. 
So please take what resonates, leave what doesn't, because the message is going to be long. I'm only here 10 minutes, and I'm probably going to be here for an hour. So take the things that resonate and leave what doesn't. But something here, I'm really channeling for real, for real. Somebody's working with the moon cycles. Somebody's doing graveyard magic here with the tree and the moon. Definitely somebody's digging up dirt in your life, trying to do graveyard spells. With the toad here, it's like there's a lot you need to get rid of in your life. Again, that's why the devil came up right yeah there's some like crazy demonic oh my gosh i don't even want to say that shit but again no weapon form against you shall prosper you should comment that shit below immediately no weapon form against me shall prosper i say okay we got the braid in the cauldron again somebody's doing spell work to either take your identity hurt your your identity confuse you of your identity they could have a piece of your hair for my females or male out there. I don't know, but you will know if this resonates with you. Thank you so much, Priscilla. That's just creepy. We got the peacock. Okay, like I said, you're different. Your royalty, your authenticity. Somebody wants to steal your identity or something about you, like... When you are in, I like you're you're authentic here. You're royalty. Yeah, you're very powerful. Somebody wants your power here is what I'm getting. Yeah, your power. That's what this braid means. You remember Saul from, from the Bible when they cut his hair? Remember? Once they cut his hair, like he lost his power. So there's something about that. About Thank you so much, Generico Juan, for joining the Maji Gang tribe. Welcome. Yeah. So take what resonates, but I'm really getting here like... You have a very powerful crown chakra. People know your royalty. You're authentic. You're one of a kind. You stand out everywhere you go. Somebody's doing spell work to take your power. Okay, cat. Listen to that intuition here. You may see a black cat. You may have a black cat here. But yeah, I'm getting like somebody really wants to take your power. Because I'm hearing like you have some, some ancestors. Yeah, we have the lion, courage, Leo energy. You know what's funny? yesterday i had a dream with lions and now i'm seeing a lion right now so you are protected this is a spirit guide here or an ancestor that's highly protecting you we have the spider there's something that you are creating or you need to be aware of the connections that you're making yeah you're a brave soul here but it seems like somebody wants to take your power your authenticity even though there's really not much anyone like you. Somebody wants your power. Because remember, the lion is very powerful as well. Very courageous. I'm getting the story of David here at the lion's den. A lot of biblical references coming through this reading. Yeah, it's like somebody wants you to lose your power. They want to use your power. Yeah. So this is a time of purging, cleansing. I'm going to get one more from this deck. We have mushrooms. Yesterday, I was tripping on mushrooms. So you might have done like some type of psychedelic or something like that. Or maybe you're being guided to eat more mushrooms. Um, I'm really just getting... What's this mushrooms? You're going to see things from a different perspective is what I'm getting here. Like I said, you could be an earth angel here. Or you have a lot of angels protecting you. Now, let's, let's switch this shit up. Somebody's looking into your future. Let's just see what this message is because we got a lot going on here already. Thank you, Kim, for your donation. Guys, don't forget to like this video and get them likes up, okay? Thank you so much, Maji Gang. All right, Ancestors, Spare Guys of the Highest White Light, tell me more about this message here of God blessing the collective in public as they were silently crying and suffering. Exactly, bro. Prosperity. Prosperity. You're about to come into a time of abundance. Of, um, I was going to say fertility for somebody out there. Okay? But you're coming into a time of prosperity, abundance, stability. Thank you, Rail Ascending, for your donation, my love. And then we have inspiration. Like I said, it's like you're doing something where you are inspiring people. You're giving a lot of people strength. That's who you are. Look at another lion here. There's something about a lion's strength or Leo energy, having courage, 
um, being fierce, very, very fierce. You're inspiring people here, or you're about to step into this power. Forgiveness. I'm hearing forgive these people. Okay, you are a very lovable, empathetic soul. And um, Spirit is asking you to forgive these people. Because like the blessing that's coming right now is so big. You don't need to hold on to any, any resentment, any remorse. Thank you, Cheryl, for your donation. If any would like to donate to my PayPal Cash App, okay? Info's down below. Someone here may have red hair or like orange hair. Okay, Queen Empress Tarot, thank you so much for your donation. We have commitment. Okay. And closure. Okay, so some of you guys, I don't know, there, there might be somebody, if you were married here, if you were married, somebody that you were married to is going to want to come back. Hey, you just dyed your hair, Boogeyman. That's crazy. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> the boy. <laughs> All right, let me stop. Let me stop because you know I could get crazy. But I'm getting here like if you were married or you were in some type of commitment, somebody from the past is going to want your forgiveness. I'm hearing this is the same person that made you cry. This is the same person that hurt you. But you're like, you're stepping into your life purpose. Some of you guys are traveling, okay? You're making important travel moves because you're about to step into this financial abundance, okay? So tell me about this. Uh, tell me more messages here. Let's just, let's just kind of go with the flow. I'm hearing you're meant for success, whoever you are. And I'm guessing like you, you I'm hearing like you've done things alone. For a long time it's like you you felt like a ghost your whole life like nobody noticed you not because you're ugly or something like that people didn't notice you because they didn't want to see you you know it's like they wanted to make you feel like you were nothing okay we have no you will be successful like i said these people know your future. Somebody here knows your future. They know that you're meant to have success. They know that you're meant to be successful. Okay. I'm also hearing you need to be careful. Hmm. I keep getting something about like either a jealous mom or somebody jealous of your mom. Family generational curse. What did I say at the beginning of the reading? Protect your energy. Yo, the same messages are coming through that I said at the beginning of the reading. There's a need for you to protect your energy around these individuals. Because, like I said, you need to release from some negative energy here. Anybody that doesn't support you, you need to let them go. Because um, you're here. I'm hearing you're chosen, right? I'm speaking to somebody chosen, obviously. I'm always channeling for my chosen Maji gang over here. Um, you're breaking generational curses, right? And I feel like right now you're inspiring, including these haters. You're inspiring your haters. Because I feel like you're focused on your career, on your money, on your stability. And you're manifesting this. You're also healing with this forgiveness. You're learning how to forgive yourself. You're learning how to forgive others. You're learning how to have more compassion. Okay? Tell me more about this message here, Spirit. Stealing your energy. See, this is why you need to protect your energy because people around you are stealing your energy. You need to call back all your power, okay? You need to do some sort of ritual and call back all your fucking power. Jealous of your mom keeps popping up. Somebody's literally jealous of your mom or jealous that you are a mom, okay? I don't know why that keeps coming through, but that's for someone out there, okay? Okay. Yeah, Spirit says, whatever was in the dark is coming to the light. Karma has backfired on them, okay? So whoever was hurting you in any way, shape, or form, this, again, karma is about to come towards these people. We got Pisces energy, anxiety, hate that you are successful. These people hate that you are successful. And so they paid a practitioner or somebody to hurt you here, okay? 
All right, before I use this deck, let's actually, I'm going to be using my chosen ones, Oracle deck 144. The link is down below if you like to purchase it. Okay, this is made by me. Thank you to those who have already purchased my Oracle deck. <clears throat> Thank you, Adriana. Okay, Ancestor Spirit, guys, tell me about how you're about to bless the collective in, in public here. What do they need to know? We got angels are protecting you. That's what you got to know. You got angels protecting you. Like I said, they can't fuck with you. Whatever was in the dark is coming to the light. And karma is backfiring on these people. No weapon formed against you shall prosper. And look who popped up. Your enemies. I got enemies. Got a lot of enemies. Got a lot of people trying to drain me of this energy. Again, somebody's trying to drain you off your energy, bro. With all that prosperity, prosperity to me also speaks about energy because it's earth, right? So it's like you have a lot of um, abundant energy and people want that. Did I not say you're royalty? Yes, I did. I said you're a peacock. You're a royalty, right? So like I said, you're somebody very divine, very royal. You come from a royal family and you're definitely God's ambassador here. So it's like God hire you who gonna fire you. All right, you may be seeing a lot of synchronicities and signs at this time. Dream messages, okay? Pay attention to the things that you're dreaming about and spend some time alone, Virgo energy. Like I said, it's like you've, you've, you've spent a lot of time alone here, crying, okay? Praying, asking for some type of miracle and now it's coming to you. Yeah, dark night of the soul. You've been purging. Somebody here literally has been cleansing and purging. And that's why abundance is coming towards you. You're highly ranked in the spirit world. You can't make none of this up, right? <clears throat> Ancestor spirit, guys, tell me about this message. You cry so many times in private. God is blessing you in public. What does the collective need to know regarding this message here? All right. You need to know you're about to have a victory. You may be seeing the number 44 or 444. A lot. We have destiny. It's your destiny here. And we have friendship. So what I'm getting here is. There might be somebody entering your life. There might be a friend that you're meant to meet. This person is part of your destiny. Whether it's a friend or a lover. Or this could also mean soul tribe. I'm also getting like, um, yeah, you're manifesting true friendships, true people that care about you. And again, there's something about your destiny that is going to be seen in public. It's regarding something with your life purpose, your destiny, what you're meant to do here. Okay. Tell me more, Ancestor Spirit guys. Magical powers. Maji gang, I'm talking to somebody here that has magical powers. This could be clairvoyant, psychic abilities. Um, this is the phoenix rising, by the way. You're coming up from the ashes now. Yeah, that's what I'm getting. People are going to think that you have some sort of like magical power or that you've been doing some type of spell is what I'm getting. With the way that God is going to bless you, people are going to be like, how did she do that? How did he do that? Oh, he or she must be doing some spell work or like you're working with the devil or something like that, even though you're not. That's why I feel like this energy came up. Somebody may be thinking that like you're into some like, like evil magic here, like you're conjuring a whole bunch of tools and magic things to bring things into your life when in fact you've just been praying healing yourself purging spending time alone forgiving yourself healing your your inner child your childhood trauma and so people are going to really be like what kind of magical power does he or she have you know even though you do have a magical power people are going to start questioning that they're going to start seeing that publicly how powerful you are how magical you are okay like i said it's like some sort of power has been bestowed to you and these people may want your psychic abilities as well is what i'm getting we have trust there's going to be somebody a new friend entering your life that you're going to you're going to feel safe with and you're going to be able to trust for some of you guys if you have been feeling like um you're not safe in any way, shape, or form. You need to know you're safe. Like, you are safe and protected, okay? Comment down below if you guys like my sword. All right? It's so pretty and tiny. No weapon. Y'all heard? Magic gang. 
We have love, Aphrodite here, and success on the bottom. You can't make this shit up. You're about to have public success, okay? You see that eye on the back? It, all eyes on you. Whenever this... Okay, I'm also getting something about... Somebody's birthday here could be on January 12th. You could be a path life number 9, 8, 5. Someone's birthday could be on August 14 or February 14. Comment down below if this is you. December 31st or December 24. Okay, these are the birthdays that are coming up. This, this just means this message is even more specific for you, okay? So yeah, success belongs to you and love. So again, you've been, yeah, glamour and confidence. Ooh, ooh, and your energy. Ooh, okay, and strength keeps popping up again. It's like, look at this shield. You are a warrior. Look at this shield. There's something about... There's something about your strength that's being highly admired at this time. Whoever you are, people are really admiring your strength, your endurance, the way you empower yourself. Again, it's like you were crying. You were sad. You didn't know what the hell you were doing, where you were going to go, how you were going to feed your kids, how you were going to feed yourself, how you were going to pay your rent. Okay? How you were going to get out of some sort of obstacle. But you had the strength and your strength is inspiring people is what I'm getting. Your strength is inspiring even your, your own enemies. Comment down below and write, my strength is inspiring my own enemies. Okay? And we have authenticity. Did I not say this in the beginning, y'all? The peacock. I said authenticity. There's something about just who you are. You, 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 you shine on your own. Yeah, that's what I'm getting. It's like you shine on your own. You stand out on your own. This strength didn't come from outside people this strength came from you and your spirituality connecting to your soul connecting to source it's like you yourself are strong enough by your own by yourself the number 10 could be significant for you but it's like your authenticity here who you are you're so good you're good with your words you're good with the way you are with the way you look yeah like i said somebody wants to take your authenticity they want to like take your your identity or something like that is for somebody. That shit is crazy. We have glamour, confidence, and energy. If you have been feeling low, drained, depressed, low vibrational, that is being restored in your life, okay? You're about to feel more energized, more confident, more beautiful with the glamour for sure. More beautiful, more handsome. Like I said, some of you guys have dyed your hair, right? Look at this. You've made some sort of changes to your hair, to your look, the way that you look, okay? Um, like I said, somebody here definitely has been practicing beauty spells on you, but that shit ain't working, period. Um, so you're about to step into a time of success and confidence here, okay? Because you trusted in the divine, okay? You trusted in something here, and this is why this has manifested. And you could, some of you guys are manifesting love here as well, okay? You're manifesting your true love is what I'm getting here. You could comment down below. I am manifesting my true love, okay? So. Your energy is, something about your energy is very different. It's very rare. It's like, I don't know, maybe you give people life when, you know, like you're the light in the room or something. Like when people are around your energy, they feel peace. They feel they can trust you. They feel beautiful themselves. You make people feel beautiful. Thank you, the divine Pisces, for your donation, okay? If you guys like to donate to my Cash App, PayPal... Thank you, Shan, for your donation. Okay? Shan. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Look what's on the bottom of the deck. This shit is hilarious, though. Look what's on the bottom of the deck, y'all. Envy. Somebody's jealous of your energy because, look, five of pentacles. This is somebody that doesn't look hostilities. You can't make this shit up. Somebody's really jealous of, like, not only the way that you look, the way that you shine authentically, naturally, but this is somebody that doesn't have any spirit. Like, 
Your spirit is very, very valuable. Your spirit is very abundant. Your energy, like, you know how they say true, true abundance is in your energy. You have a very abundant energy. Okay. And so you give people life, but this is somebody that drains. It's like when you're around this person or people, they drain your energy. They lack a lot. They lack a lot of spirit. They lack a lot of, um, just a lot of, energy and this is somebody that is broke and struggling financially not only their spirit i'm hearing their spirit is broke somebody could write down below my enemy's spirit is broke you understand this is somebody whose spirit is broke they they just this is why they're jealous because they're like they don't have what you have they don't have that authenticity they don't have that energy that divinity that you have and to be honest this is somebody that can have it but they don't because they're so focused on not having enough, on having eyes on you instead. Okay, the number 13 is showing up here twice. So that could be somebody's uh, birth date. Or, um, yeah, I think 13 in tarot is the devil card or the transformation card. I'm also getting 1331, like the number mirroring each other. Yeah, so this this is somebody, again, like they, they don't have the abundance that you have, the anointing that you have. So they're very hostile towards you. This is somebody that really don't like you, okay? These people do not like you. Like literally there's cobwebs in their spirit. Look at these cobwebs in their spirit. They have no soul. They have no soul. They have nothing inside of them. While your, your spirit is filled with divine energy and creativity, confidence, success. It's like no matter what weapon is formed against you, you still remain confident in God in the universe. No matter what is taken from you, even if you're broke yourself, your spirit is abundant. You get what I mean? Like, it just don't matter. Like, nobody is like you. You're, I'm speaking to somebody here that has, like, tremendous magical manifestation powers. Okay? Like... You carry so much energy like the sun that even if somebody tries to drain you of your energy, you won't feel it because you are the sun. The sun gives energy to the whole entire world and it doesn't at all dim its light or shrink. It's like people try to shrink your energy, drain you of your energy, but you still the sun. You It has no effect on you. You still like, bitch, I'm the sun though. So again, their spirit is broke. That's why they hate on you. Because they don't have that glamour, that energy, that flow. Okay? And you're stepping into success. This reading is very clear over here. Right, guys? It's pretty clear. Their spirit is broke. I'm going to write that shit down. They have nothing inside of their soul. Nothing to offer to the world. Nothing. Look at that. Nada. Nada. No tienen nada. Nada. Man holding a coin while you're holding a coin here. What you got? You could be a Earth, Virgo, uh, Capricorn, Taurus. Look at that. I'm hearing Taurus season. Ooh, prepare for Taurus season. This is the season when you're going to get blessed. This is a timeless reading. But if you're watching this right now, um, during Taurus season, you're about to be blessed with finances and more energy. You're going to feel more energy, okay? Look at that. You're holding a pen. It's, I'm telling you, it's like your soul really does have something to offer here. These people ain't got shit. Nothing. Just cobwebs. Cobwebs. That's why they keep pl plotting and planning, okay, strategizing against you. How is the collective being blessed in public? You have Archangel Metatron working with you. So your third eye being activated as well. We got anxiety, all right? These people um, have a lot of anxiety right now because their life is not balanced and they see your life like being restored and balanced slowly, but surely you're getting there. And we have Archangel Michael with the thinking man. Somebody is in a lot of anxiety about you here. It's like they want to be like you, dress like you, walk like you, talk like you. You're authentic. Nobody is like you. And you're making these people like cry in the nighttime. Okay. I'm also getting like, this could have been your energy. You were somebody that was dealing with anxiety, PTSD, um, some form of nervous thing in your nerves. 
And like God is about to restore your life and take you out of this energy. You also could be having this anxiety due to the fact that you're an empath and you can feel the energies around you. You can feel the envy, the jealousy, the hostility, the evil eye. You could you could see people trying to do... Um, I'm getting for somebody here, these people were doing financial spells on you. They were doing money spells to prevent you from having any freaking abundance, but it's still coming towards you. Because like I said, your abundance is not just financial. Your abundance is your spirit has so much energy. It can literally feed the entire earth. I'm getting a vision here of Gaia. Like you're so connected to everything in the earth that you have so much energy, like something about that. Okay. If this message is resonating, all right, give this video a thumbs up because I'm seeing 800 people out here. There's something, yeah, it's like your ancestors are proud because you trusted. No matter what was going on in your life, you, you trusted that everything was happening for a reason in divine timing and that your time will come. So as long as you trusted and kept the faith, this is why you're being blessed publicly, completely companionship like i said you you have been doing things alone your whole life but with spirit not just alone like you've been doing it with you and spirit maybe you don't have any friends or any true friends okay but it says when you truly bless and embrace your aloneness you're ready for the ones who are meant to be with you may i welcome this solitude knowing it will open the way for all healthy relationships like i said you guys somebody here is manifesting healthy relationships like i said there's somebody here that's coming into your life somebody in your destiny they're meant to help you with your destiny they're meant to guide you in your life purpose this is somebody that's going to make you feel even more confident they're going to push you they're going to motivate you this is a healthy relationship and you're not going to feel alone because you have this might be somebody who wants to collaborate with you at your work okay something with career here and honestly You've embraced this aloneness, this time where no one knew your suffering. It was like you were suffering in silence. Nobody knew what you were going through. And now they're about to see what you were going through. You understand? Now they're about to see all the blessings in public. Maybe they didn't see your suffering publicly. Okay? Or maybe some of you guys did open up to these people. You know that you thought you trusted We have calmness and that hummingbird. Okay, hummingbird. You may be seeing hummingbirds. Comment down below if you did. Um, I'm getting God was watching everything. Okay, God was witnessing it all. Everything. God was watching everything from above. And that's why he felt like, you know what? Something has to be balanced here. Karma has to be brought here. Some of you guys need to quiet your mind and remain calm. If you're dealing with anxiety, like calm your spirit down and trust that all is working out for you. Trust. We have empowerment. Empower yourself. Tell yourself beautiful affirmations about your confidence, okay? I am confident. I am beautiful. I am prosperity. Some of you guys may be worried about aging or something like that. It's like, no, I am beautiful. I am handsome. Okay. Yeah. Courage and service. See, you're being blessed because you had the courage to step into your service, into your life purpose. You started doing what you were meant to do. You started helping people. You started guiding people. You started focusing on the things that made your spirit feel energized and revived. And there's something about you just, you kept going. Even when things were going hard, bro, you kept going. Thank you, Keon Grace. Kiana Grace. Divine courage is not the absence of fear, but a nudge that says, keep going, do it, do not worry. All will be well. So you listen to that voice inside of you that kept saying, keep going. Don't worry, all is going to be well. And because you kept this voice in your head that kept motivating you or your spirit guides that kept motivating you, you're about to be blessed publicly here with abundance, confidence, more energy, more spirit. 
Wow, this is beautiful, dude. And I'm getting, like I said, you're an inspiration. You're going to empower a lot of people. Some of you guys have been dealing with something with your body. Okay? Exactly. They can't stop greatness. Nobody can. God hire me. Who going to fire me? The fuck? We got doubt. Yeah, whoever doubted you is about to see the truth. Because I'm getting a lot of people died, doubted you even though you remain confident in yourself. Okay? I'm hearing just forgiveness. You have to learn how to practice forgiveness here. Yeah, something about your body keeps coming up, okay? Maybe you feel insecure about your body. Some of you guys are about to have a miracle in your body. So if you've been dealing with some health issue, expect a miracle here. It's like you're about to feel more radiant, a glow up. Your body is different. Maybe you've been working out or you've been planning on getting some type of surgery. No judgment here. Um, it says, please give the radiant miracle of accepting my body as it is. Okay, just accept your body as it is. Somebody doubted you here and now they're going to see this confidence that you had. Yeah, look, forgiveness and solitude. Yo, I'm um, loneliness. See? Lonely. I am so lonely. I have nobody. Yo, I'm telling you. Y'all y'all was doing things alone here. In solitude. You were praying in solitude. You were talking to God in solitude. You were praying for your enemies and asking, asking God to forgive them. You were trying to heal yourself. You were busy healing your ancestral karma. You were too busy healing your ancestral curses, those toxic patterns that were holding your whole family back while your own family, okay, was literally doing spell work on you over here. You can't, you have, you're somebody with so much spirit, so much faith. And you don't mind spending time alone because I feel like you did at some point feel very lonely and things. But then you realize when you woke up from spirit, you realize that the spirit world is more supportive to you than people on actual like in the 3D. And then I'm also getting here that like you embraced your loneliness. You started to keep your faith and you embraced this loneliness and it's made you so confident where you know, not necessarily like I don't need anybody. No, you just know that you're authentic anywhere you go. You know that you can stand alone. You don't need a click. You don't need a group. You don't need a circle. So you're manifesting friends, your soul tribe, because you've been alone all this time. There's something you're about to step into your destiny that you're not going to, you're not going to do alone anymore. Okay. Yes, you've been in solitude. Yes, you've been alone. And it's amazing. You've done your healing. The universe is proud. Now you're coming up like the phoenix rising here. It's extremely confident, extremely courageous, okay? Extremely empowered. And I'm also hearing there's power within you that you never knew you had, that you're about to see that you have, okay? So that's very powerful. You, you should, somebody should comment down below. I'm about to witness power within me that I never knew I had. I'm about to witness power within me that I never knew I had. I'm going to say that one more time. I'm about to witness power within me that I never knew I had. Okay? Thank you, Rosa, for your donation. Period. Like, that's a very powerful message there. Very, very powerful. All right? Let's see what else wants to come through here. Actually, I'm going to use tarot now. All right, wait. Before I use tarot, I'm actually going to use Tidra Lang's um, Oracle deck here. Okay, this is Tidra Lang's um, Oracle deck. Apparently so. It's by Empress Lang. I'm going to put the link below after this live because right now I'm live. But I will put it in the comment section. Okay, if any of you are interested in this deck, it's amazing. We got jealous on the bottom of the deck. Like I said, there's a lot of people jealous of you, of who you are. I love this deck, by the way, guys. Like, it really spills the tea. You feel me? Like, it spills the freaking tea. All right, Ancestor Spirits of the Highest White Light. Yeah, what I said, yo. What I said. Chill. Black magic. See that? No weapon form against you shall prosper, bro. Any black magic that was done to you, that shit is gone. It just, it did not work. It did not work. 
because somebody was trying to do something with your identity. Somebody wanted to take your confidence away and make you feel insecure, make you doubt yourself, make you doubt your abilities, make you doubt just anything overall. Maybe even doubt your own spirituality, your own gifts, and maybe even doubt God and the fact that you could be restored. Okay? But it's like, you're safe. None of these spells worked. You were too busy being introspective and healing and purging and, and crying and releasing that you weren't focused on your enemies. They were focused on you. So now they're going to be even more focused on you because whatever is about to happen in your life is going to be done publicly, just like this live. For some of you, you might be blessed like live on a live stream or something like that. Somebody may just bless you on a live stream. I don't know. Something like that just came through. Thank you, Marie Bates, for your donation. Then we have this card that says, yo, I'm done. It says, karma gave no rest to the wicked. The scales are being balanced. Libra energy here. Apparently, she been butler than a cat on the hot on the hoof. All right, so... The scales are being balanced, bro, because it's like anybody that's in this energy, you're always going to lack. If you are a karmic energy watching me right now, if you a hater watching me right now, let me give you a quick little download here from spirit. If you continue being on this envious, hostile energy, you will never, ever have abundance in your life. Abundance not only in money, abundance in health. You will not have that shit. You will not have health. You will not have happiness. You will stay in this fucking struggle. Okay? So what you should do is pray. Pray to God to forgive you here. Okay? Pray to release this spirit of envy out of your body. Repel and rebuke that shit. Because nobody out here should be in that energy. Like, I wish I could teach the world to stop being envious. Because it's like... Karma is real. Anytime that you are envious of somebody else, energetically, you're telling the universe, I don't have that. So you're not going to get that. You got to know how to freaking re rewire and reprogram your brain, bro. You can't be envious and jealous out here. All right? You, you need to be focused on yourself. You need to have confidence in God that if that person has what you want, you're, you could have it too. There's enough for everybody. What's this lack about? There's enough for everybody. There's enough abundance for the whole world. What's up? What's the need for hate? What's the need for jealousy? There's enough to go around. End of a karmic cycle, okay? So, like I said, karma is about to be to, to just come around. This is karma season. I've been saying this entire week. It's karma season. Anybody who played you is about to be played themselves. It's the end of a karmic cycle. God is removing you from all toxicity, all negative energy okay that shit is ending there's a major transformation in your life and anything that has been holding you back is just being it's like the phoenix rising is being removed from you okay we have destiny here destiny of the lotus hope blossom here okay apparently much fortune as told as your purpose is not of this world like i said you're somebody whose purpose is not of this world. You are somebody who is like a lotus. You're blossoming. You're meant to blossom. You're a healer here. Okay? You could be a water sign. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Something about your destiny here. It's like it's going to blossom. Everybody's going to see that you weren't lying, that this wasn't just a dream, that, you know, maybe somebody made fun of your dreams and said, yo, bro, you're never going to do that. Well, they're about to fucking see with their very own eyes, with these two eyes right here, maybe even their third eye. They might see with these three eyes how, how blessed you are, how anointed you are, okay? Exactly. There's a resurrection coming upon you, all right? We got a thousand people over here. Let's get them lights up. Sincerely, let's get them likes up. Unless you're watching me through the TV. We got hell no. All right? Hell no. So if anybody's trying to come and sit at your table, eat off your plate, and they weren't there for you, that's a hell no. They cannot come with you. They cannot come where God is taking you. Hell no. You need to put a stop sign on something and tell them hell no. hell yes okay we got hell no and hell yes so it's like make sure that when you say no is no and when you say yes is yes 
there's something that you do have to say yes for. Spirit is already giving you the high five, okay? We got jealous. Because I got issues. You got them too. Yeah, this is somebody with issues here. We got divine anger. So again, it's like there's some type of divine anger right now. Spirit, your spirit guys, your ancestors, they angry. That's why they're giving this karma instantly, I'm getting. There's somebody that's seeing something done behind the scenes with the moon. With the moon card here, there was a lot done behind the scenes that you didn't know. But spirit watched, spirit saw. And it was like, bro, I'm super angry. I have to get back at these people. So whatever black magic spell work was done on you, manipulation, voodoo here, it was like spirit saw god saw this from a higher perspective and now is pissed the fuck off why because you're a chosen one it's like this person has a big anointing a big purpose that is not even out of this world normal humans can't even concept your divinity and your uh destiny so it's like all this jealousy is making god angry because it's like bro why are you trying to stop this this person i've given them an assignment why are you trying to block the assignment that God has given this person? You're not messing with this person. You're messing with God. You're messing with the universe, with source. You get it? So that's what I'm saying. So now you're about to manifest multiple streams of income. So you're going to be monetizing off your weaknesses and your strengths is what I'm getting here. Okay? You're going to be monetizing off your weaknesses and your strengths. You could comment that shit down below. We got message. Okay? There's a message that's coming through. Um, for some of you guys, this may be... Yeah, you're getting signs. This is a spiritual message coming through. Okay, so you're going to be getting signs from your spirit guides, angels, ancestors of the highest white light. They're going to be coming to you through your dreams. They're going to be sending you signs on your waking life. Okay? But this sign is to tell you, you've done a good job. Karma is not going to hurt you. You're only getting good karma. They're giving you a thumbs up. Like, good job. I'm proud of you. You're working on the family. Your ancestors are saying, I'm proud of you. You're breaking generational curses rather than envying and trying to stop the same family member here. Your own family has been trying to harm you while you over here healing yourself to heal a whole tribe. This is something that this person or people can't concept. Only you do. That's why this anointing has been given to you. You feel me? Like... So pay attention to the signs that something is coming here. You've been getting signs. So I'm feeling like you know this message is for you if you've been getting some signs here. Yeah. Last message here from this deck. Haters. Hi, haters. Bye, haters. You understand? Your blessing became another lesson. So your blessing right now, this public blessing is about to become a lesson to these people. They're gonna, you're gonna teach them something here. You're gonna teach these envious motherfuckers that if they continue living that life, they're never gonna have anything ever. Cause you lucky. And no, I'm not lucky. I'm blessed. Yes. All right. You're blessed is what I mean to say. But this is good luck. Okay. So you could be Irish here for some of you, but there's some type of good fortune coming towards you, and you can intuitively feel it. Your intuition is telling you. Your ears could be ringing. Your hands and your palms could be itching. You you getting signs. Somebody getting signs. You could actually see a four-leaf clover, butterflies, rainbows, a lotus flower if you're in Japan or wherever you are. Or maybe you got a lotus tattoo or maybe you're seeing a lot more lotuses, signs. Pay attention to the signs that you're seeing because spirit is trying to tell you there's a major blessing coming towards you. But this blessing is going to be seen publicly. That's what I love about this reading because it's like you suffered in silence and now you're about to be blessed publicly. Okay. Perfect. One second. Something about your password. Somebody may be trying to hack your password, okay? Thank you, Gia, for your donation. Thank you, Tom. Thank you, Angelic, for your donation. Thank you, Rosalie. Many blessings, guys. Anybody who donates to my channel is definitely going to be getting abundance because it's like the more you give, the more you get. 
Okay, that's the law of attraction. The more you give, the more you get, period. Any last messages here for the collective here? Nine of Pentacles, the more you give, the more you get, bro. Look at that. And you're definitely connected to your spirituality and spirit guides. You're, there's a lot of money in this motherfucker. Bro, come on now. The Wheel of Fortune. Oof. There's a lucky strike, 777. Seven, seven. There's a luck, something lucky is happening here. Maybe you own your own business, you're self employed. Whatever this is, luck. This is the wheel of karma, by the way. So it's like, this is good karma coming your way. Jupiter is on your side here, okay? Hey, welcome Sirius Stan to the Maji Gang. So, shit, this is amazing. You're, you're, wow. Yeah, somebody here is about to come into a lot of money here, okay? This could be something spontaneous with this luck it's like it may just come unexpectedly or you may win something or um, i'm hearing what goes around comes back around maybe something that was stolen from you is going to be given back to you we have the ten of cups you can't make the shit up and the magician you're a powerful magician so it's like hold on who's this person here lakeisha thank you so much for your donation my love the Ten of Cups is like you're about to have everything that you wanted. You're, you're, you and your family are about to be blessed, all right? Those family members, obviously, that were there for you, that loved you, supported you. Um, this is happening very fast. Very, very fast. And another sign you may be seeing is rainbows, okay? Because I see that rainbow there. So it's like God kept his promise to you. Yeah, your ships are coming in, bro. Thank you, Leslie, for your donation. Like I said, your blessing is coming. It may be three days, three weeks, three months away. No more than that. Ten of Cups is like feeling emotionally fulfilled. Look, five of Pentacles. You're, you're going from rags to riches. You're letting go of these people who have been draining your energy, making you feel abandoned, rejected, like a black sheep. Ten of Wands. There's a lot of burdens, responsibilities that is not even yours to carry. It's not yours to carry, okay? Let that shit go. Yeah, because it may be blocking you from, from your success. The magician, see? You're a very powerful manifester. Spirit wants you to know if there's something you want to work on, you have all the tools that you need. You have everything that you need to accomplish what you desire. Ace of Pentacles. And that's the truth, all right? Look at this sword. See, it's the same sword. That's the truth. Some of you guys have a powerful throat chakra here. Your voice needs to be heard. Ace of Pentacles, all right? So like I said, God is blessing you in public. A lot of people are going to watch. Yo, look at this. God is blessing you in public. People are going to watch you get this blessing here. This is, a, this is money here. This is something to do with your destiny too or an extreme amount of luck. I'm hearing Midas touch. Like suddenly anything you touch turns gold. Like... Yeah, I got the Maji touch. Your feeling when we're making love. <laughs> Instead of Midas touch, I say Maji touch. Check that out. What's this Ace of Pentacles? Let's get more details here. Major, major blessing though. It's going to make you happy. It's going to bring a lot of growth, a lot of positivity into your life. This may be some type of collaboration. This could be you. Maybe you have a platform. Maybe you have a YouTube. Maybe you have... Uh, some sort of platform here, okay? That's going to be getting a lot more spotlight and people are going to want... Yeah, I'm hearing sponsors. You're going to get more sponsors, collaborations here. Nine of Cups, Wish Fulfillment. And this is coming in quick, 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 quick. Thank you, Nicole, for your donation, my love. So yeah, the Nine of Cups. Everything that you desire is yours. It's yours. It's yours. It's, it's always going to be yours. This is it, my friend. <laughs> Thank you for your donation. This is it, my friend. Some of you guys have the weirdest names. I love it. <laughs> All right. Yeah, you're an empath here. Okay, so Spirit says for some of you guys, this is your confirmation. If you're here, this is your confirmation, okay? 
Yo, we have 1,215 folks in here. Let's get them likes up. Otherwise, like, y'all some weird-ass people watching over here. We got jealous family members as a confirmation, okay, that this was jealous family members around you. You can't make that shit up, okay? Who's this? I don't know why I just heard Daddy Yankee. Some of you guys may hear Daddy Yankee or you may be listening to it right now. Um... AD Elsa, thank you so much for your donation, my love. Da di Yanke. Your enemies will watch you be blessed, bro. Look at this. Take a screenshot if you need to. Your enemies are about to watch you be blessed. And because you're a leader, like I said. Everything that you desire is yours. The tables have turned, okay? So maybe, you know, you were watching everybody be blessed and you were waiting for your turn, but you were never envious. You were just patiently trusting to God, crying, praying that something was going to come to you. And you're like, when, God, when? Okay, now the tables have turned. Now karma is coming to them and you're about to be blessed. And this is going to be such a major blessing that no one in your family has ever been blessed this way is what I'm getting. No one in your family has ever been blessed like this. Thank you, Wild Seed. Yeah, because whoever you are, this is like, I'm getting like a very beautiful energy from you. Psst, look at that. Major contracts, success. Like I said, with that three of pentacles there, it's like something about your work is about to just blow up, be seen in public. There's a major opportunity here coming to you. Now, for some of you, this could be a major like psychic power. This could be like a, another psychic gift giving to you so you help people okay because you may offer services for others of you this is a contract coming into your life and it came because you never gave up you knew it was going to happen you never gave up it's your endurance your consistency gta life thank you so much for your donation it was your consistency your trust okay that you were going to have it deleted messages here yeah, some people are like secretly group texting about you. Some of you guys have tarot readers attacking. If you're a tarot reader, there's other tarot readers that are attacking you. They're envious of your success. Okay, like I said, I'm speaking to a future entrepreneur or a current entrepreneur, but you're meant to have your own business and you're meant to work for yourself. Okay, and spirit. Some of you guys work with spirit. Like you, you know how to channel here. You have a lot of people watching you. Secretly, too. Secret admirers is what I'm getting. Look, you can't make it up. Cut off karmic ties. Leave that narcissist behind. Share your voice because you're a public speaker. And shit. Now your enemies are stressed, bro. You're going from stressed to blessed. Comment that down below. I'm going from stressed to blessed. You heard? Period. Point blank. Airy Garrett, thank you so much for your donation. Many blessings, my Maji gang. Okay. You're about to step into this leadership position. So whatever contract is coming into your life, it's going to allow you to have your own business, to work for yourself, to work from home, whatever this is. It's going to be a contract where you might be sponsored or I don't know, we got empath. Whatever this is, is going to put you in a leader position, okay? Like it's going to put you at a high level. I'm being guided. To, yeah, look, th these people who were obsessed with destroying your life are the ones who are going to see you be blessed. Because they were obsessed with your uniqueness, your authenticity, how rare you are. You're somebody that's not afraid to be themselves. And that's pretty scary to some people. Because we have a lot of impersonators already. We have a lot of people trying to be like somebody else. And you're somebody that makes people, you inspire them to be themselves. You know? So happiness is coming in. The sun. Warmth. Okay? Nurturing. Love. Care freedom last oracle deck i'm gonna use is this one right here because i do see money coming like i said you're going to the next level you're about to be a boss if you have been working for somebody else you're about to be your own boss here 
because this is part of your life purpose to have your own business to work for yourself so you're going into the next level if your finances haven't improved yet you can be certain they will soon you were meant to be a boss bro you're in the aries emperor energy all right some of you guys are writers here there's a book inside of you or maybe you're a lyricist whatever it is continue writing your story matters okay something about your story here it's just going to matter so much because your words have power the way that you speak the way that you write it has so much power thank you rosalie so much for your donation we have the rebel see some of you guys are writers here you could be bloggers you could have a, an online blog something about the newspapers it's like you, you're gonna yeah all right so i'm getting two different or three different scenarios here if you are a blogger like you have a blog you write stories online or you publish them in the newspaper or magazine okay this is going to work out for you majorly if you are a writer or a journalist or something like that there's a major contract coming towards you um okay where you're, you're gonna get a, a piece in, a, in an article something of yours is going to be published in an article for others of you what i'm getting with this newspaper is like you're going to be the news of the town you literally might be on the newspaper this public blessing may be you let's say winning the lottery and then you're like on the freaking newspaper okay and people are going to see that you're you're a rebel you're you're very unique you're meant to to shed old beliefs and show people the new ways okay you have a very rebellious spirit it's like you're that's why you're a leader you're rebellious you don't listen to somebody else and go with it you listen to your own self your own intuition your own voice some of you guys have a podcast here you're recording your music you're recording your voice in some way or another this is gonna blow up okay i'm also hearing like you're gonna get more subscribers followers here you're, you're yeah you're building you're creating a team that you don't even know like you're creating a family a community thank you serious stan you're creating a family here where it's like you're making people want to rebel and and um awaken their spirit is what i mean okay i'm, I'm also hearing like you are, you could be published in a magazine or a newspaper okay I'm also getting some of you guys here, maybe you've written something in the past and you tried publishing it and maybe that publisher didn't like it. They're about to really see how now that book or that blog or whatever was it that was being written here, they're about to see how you are going to make so much money and success out of this. So somebody who didn't believe in your work, they're about to really see like, wow, I, I rejected that book or I rejected that blog or I rejected that magazine piece. Oh my god and now look it's like the most famous or something like that okay so with the voice it says radio public relations or anything in communications get your message heard okay there's you're somebody that's meant to have their message heard because once your message is heard by the people you're gonna awaken people to rebel okay to wake up look at this black clover i mean the clover here again you have this shit here twice already giving you a confirmation so that's a double confirmation for somebody here okay because we have the clover here twice already two clovers saying hey good luck your luck is about to change for the better you could get a lucky break some financial breakthrough like i said this is going to be a lucky break a financial breakthrough anything you do now will be very prosperous so anything you're working on right now, whoever you are, maybe you just started a channel, maybe you just started a podcast, maybe you started recording, maybe you put something out, whatever it is, whatever you're working on right now will be very prosperous for you. I told you Gaia was in this reading. I told you. You're very connected to Gaia and Earth. Some of you guys have cried in the past because you lost something or you lost somebody and you could have lost a parent. And now it's like this spirit guide has been watching over you. Yeah, you're about to see who is unreliable in your life. You need to let that person go. Unexpected. Like I said, this is this this abundance, this blessing is coming unexpectedly. You do need to beware here, okay? There's a sly fox in your circle. So there's something you need to be aware of where be careful who you talk to about your money and about this breakthrough when it comes. Be careful who you share this abundance with, okay? 
because this person is going to want you to lose all your money or they're going to want to take all your money so <laughs> yeah fear see you need to step out of this fear these people had you in fear and then we have the artist so you could be an artist here um like i said something you do online you're very creative some of you guys have a blog online some of you guys have a youtube channel online some of you guys are designers online you do graphic designs okay you may work from home your ipad or something you may do something with your laptop and your creativity here you could be a photographer painter filmmaker graphic design web designer if this is you okay it's like step out of that fear success is about to be yours either way what i said celebrate oh my god you're about to be celebrated this is a public success okay publicly blessed celebrated you've accomplished so much and you will accomplish so much more so your haters already look my ear is ringing that's a double confirmation if your ear is ringing as well all right it's like whatever you've already accomplished is making your haters hate. But now they're about to hate more because you're still going to accomplish more. It's like they can't stop the wheel of success in your life. Comment down below. My haters cannot stop the wheel of success coming into my life. Okay. Then we have take some time off and celebrate your success. And there are some unforeseen increase in your income. Miss Independent. Mr. Independent. Okay. Like I said, you are somebody that's about to be an independent artist. Or you're about to be self-employed in one way or another, okay? You're just, you're going to feel a financial freedom, a financial breakthrough where because you've done it alone, it's going to help inspire many people the way you did it alone, okay? Because there's a lot of people in life that are unfulfilled. They're working jobs that they hate. But this is somebody that's about to do some work that they love. This is a career that they love, okay? And so you're about to have financial freedom, bro. You got to claim this shit down below. Like this video if it's resonating. This cannot be made up. We have a gift is being bestowed to you. Look at all that money there. Look at all that money. For some of you, it could come in your birthday. If your birthday is soon, all right, and it hasn't passed yet, this is coming like a birthday gift or something. So there's going to be some sort of big celebration, a lot of champagne popping, whatever, a lot of people around. They're going to see you on your glory. They're going to see you, how you build your own business independently. LLC, whatever this is, INC. You're literally going to start dressing different too. This one says somebody might give you a gift lend you money or help you in some way like i said somebody may make a generous donation out of nowhere okay you could get a cash bonus at work you have natural talents gifts and abilities you're just waiting to be discovered yeah so this is coming from a natural ability that you have somebody's going to discover some type of natural talent or ability that you have and this is how you're going to be monetizing off of them like i said you're monetizing off your gifts you can't make this shit up. You're monetizing off your gifts. Like I said earlier, you're monetizing off your weaknesses and your strengths. And the way that you look at money is going to improve. Networks. See, you're going to blow up online. You're going to be networking with a lot more people online. You may have an online business here or something, but whatever you're putting online right now, whatever you're publishing... It's going to bring you more networking. More people are going to want to work with you, okay? I'm hearing if you're working on your own company, Spirit is going to bring you clients um, and also people that can help you, that you can employ, okay? There's a network, a TV network that's going to reach out to somebody here. I'm telling you right now. And this is your justice. Say yes to the things you think you can't do. Maybe you think you can't do this, but Spirit is saying you can. When this network comes to you and offers you this position, thank you, Fatima. Spirit is saying you could do it. Okay? You're going to need to reconsider some type of decision here, but know that this is your justice. Beautiful. 
if you work for the justice system here, because some of you guys work for the justice system, you may work, um, you may be a police officer, you may be in the military, uh, criminal justice, something with the justice system here. Um, that's going to work out for you tremendously as well. Yeah, and you're going to be motivating people. Like I said, your words have wisdom. Your voice has power. Manifester. Some of you guys like Harry Potter here because this guy looks like Harry Potter. But you are like Harry Potter. You could have been an orphan. Good fortune is coming soon. An opportunity may come to you when you showcase your talents. So once you show the world your talents, things in here, whatever this talent, if whatever this gift is, whether it's a spiritual or a creative gift, okay, this is how you're going to be making this money. It's You're manifesting this already and it's going to increase your income. Wow. So yeah, you could be getting that spotlight. Shit. All right. This is all I have for you guys. I hope this message brought you love, light, clarity, healing, especially confirmation. Because like I said, this message won't be for everybody, but it is for someone out there. And I had to put it out. Spirit was like, get on live and do this video. So I did. All right. I have to stay obedient and you got to be obedient and do whatever you're being called to do as well. Okay. Ancestors, spirit guys of the highest white light. I sent this, uh, this energy back to the light. Period. No weapon form against you shall prosper. No weapon form against me shall prosper. Thank you, Angela, for your donation. Yes, everybody, please shine bright like a diamond. She said, no, I just got here. I've been in here for like, what? What's 75 minutes? Ooh. I got to start my day as well, guys. You know what I mean? But beautiful. You're manifesting a beautiful opportunity where you're going to be celebrated publicly because this is a gift that you carry. Again, it's like you're the magician. You're like this powerful wand. Anything you want that Midas touch comes to you. Expect good fortune to come through. And guys, please make sure you comment down below anything in a specific that I mentioned and it pertained to you, comment down below. Like if that was you about the newspaper and writing a blog or publishing a book, comment down below because it's, it's I like seeing and reading your comments, okay? To see what kind of confirmation spirit was giving you and such. Whatever this is, it's not small. It's it's major is what I keep hearing, okay? It's major. It's all you wanted. It's everything you wished for. So yeah, guys, if you'd like to purchase that deck that I put out, apparently so, I'm going to put the link on the comments down below, okay? I will get there somehow. Cross the river. Nothing stopping me now. I will get through the night and make it through to the other side. It's your faith, bro. Your faith can literally move mountains, bro. This is not a joke. This is not a joke. See, whatever was in the dark is coming to light. I feel like it was you who was in the dark. And now you're coming into the light. You was in the dark. You're coming into the light. Cross that river. Nothing stopping me now. I will get through the night. And make it through to the other side. Be as fierce as a lion, my love. Have courage. Okay, this is what I got for you guys. If anybody has booked a personal reading with me, know that I will be delivering some today and some tomorrow, okay? I got your personal re readings here. I will be sending them soon. Thank you so much, guys, for your love, light, and support and your donations. If anybody else feel like donating through my cash at PayPal, do so down below. Peace, peace, peace.